good morning children now we have to go for a new lesson that is atomic structure it's in the chemistry already you know what is atom atom is a small structure which cannot be subdivided further what are the things present in the atom what are the subatomic particles we have seen already in the lower classes huh? what are the atomic particles proton neutron and electron we have seen all these things in this proton positively charged neutron no charge electron negatively charged okay number of protons is equal to number of electron number of protons is equal to number of electrons you said already that is plus is equal to minus so because negative charge is equal to positive charge the atoms are always stable stable you know that is neutral they never lose the energy this process we have studied in the lower classes also this uh, concept further we have to say then who are all found the subatomic particle that is proton neutron electron so every scientist find one one particle by doing some experiments that we have to see in the lower classes we have studied all other things also that is in the center the, for example this is the structure of atom in center what is the nucleus okay around the in the nucleus we can see protons and neutron okay around the nucleus we can see orbits this orbits are otherwise known as energy levels what are i say orbits or other other name is what energy levels okay so this here only we can see the electrons the electrons arranged arranged in the orbits okay these are what i said electrons so now you got the clear structure of atom in the atom in center what is the nucleus nucleus is a empty space in the nucleus what is the proton and neutron proton is positively charged neutron is no charge so around the nucleus there is orbits in the orbits what uh, electrons are revolving around the orbits these electrons are negatively charged even the arrangement of elect electrons also there is certain formula according to the formula only we have to arrange the electrons so what's the formula 2n square 2n square here 2 is the constant number a uh, n is the number it represents the orbit number okay 2n square for example first orbit that is otherwise known as k orbit k so 2 n is what is it that is orbit number so here you give you have to consider first orbit so n squared means 1 into 1 so 2 ones are 2 so in the first orbit that is in k orbit we have to arrange only two electrons not more than that the second orbit that is l 2 is the number the n is number of orbit that is 2 into 2 second orbit we are considering 2 2 is 4 4 2 are 8 and the third one k l m this is third orbit so we have to write here 3 3 3 is are 9 9 2 is 18 like that we have to arrange the electrons that is if orbit we have to arrange the electron according to the atomic uh, sorry according to the rules that is 2n square this is the formula to arrange the electrons in the orbits clear like that it's going on okay and every orbit has sub orbit that we will see in 10th standard so this is the lesson to us uh, that is lesson concern only these things so otherwise we can say the entire weight of the nucleus is the weight of the atom atom has two cons, uh, numbers that is one is atomic number other one is mass number atomic number and mass number atomic number is z mass number is a so how can we find out the atomic number and mass number atomic number is number of protons number of 
proton number of protons are electron you don't confuse yourself only number of protons mass number number of proton plus neutron okay yeah protons neutron in short we can say the weight of the nucleus is weight of the mass number of the atom weight of the nucleus is the mass number of the atom in case suppose oxygen this is the atom formula symbol of oxygen is o it has proton 8 electron 8 neutron also what 8 only so atomic number is only number of proton i said so atomic number is what 8 then mass number is proton plus neutron in the case of thing proton is 8 neutron also 8 so 16 so atomic number is 8 mass number is 16 this and all we have studied in lower classes in you just we recollect everything then first we have to see rutherford rutherford is the first scientist who find the subatomic particle nucleus what's the scientist name rutherford this is our lesson huh? he only he is he is from new zealand he only found out nucleus rutherford found nucleus nucleus is found by rutherford he made an experiment he has take, taken on gold foil and he is making the thing the rays to bombard through that bombard means what penetrate through that it always deflected towards one side from that you know this is nucleus there is no charge for that okay yeah. the first nucleus was found by rutherford then and uh, according this idea he is getting an idea there is an empty place the empty place is what rutherford according to that he is the first scientist who found the atom structure he has given atom structure so what is said according to that rutherford said there is an empty space the empty space space is nucleus so rutherford found the nucleus and he said like this what are the concepts of rutherford it contains a large number a large empty space is it uh, atom contains a large empty space empty means what gap full gap so that space is known as nucleus and he said there is the positively charged mass at the center of the atom even he, he just guessed it is proton but he has not named so he said the nucleus has positive charge okay the actually in present there is a, to be fact there is no charge for the nucleus because protons present in the nucleus the nucleus also present possesses positive charge he said but without knowing that he said uh, there is a center in empty space the empty space is nucleus it is positively charged okay then the size of the nucleus is vary from atom to atom element to element because all the elements are made up of atom he said the size of the nucleus is vary vary means what differs the electrons evolve around the nucleus so this is neutral he said the number of atoms that is number of proton is equal to number of electron so almost we agree all the power scientists agree all the points of rutherford he said center is empty space the empty space is nucleus it is positively charged actually nucleus doesn't have any charge it has the charge because of proton proton is positively charged then what is said the second point the nucleus may vary from element to element this is not correct the nucleus is same only in all the structures around the nucleus what is there orbits orbits in the orbits electron revolve that too agreed by the other scientists this is the rutherford model so rutherford atomic model what are the concepts of rutherford atomic model means you have to write all the five points what is given in your textbook okay then after that though rutherford said Uh, atomic structure is is pre presenting atomic structure there is some limitations limitations means what our our rutherford model one was only certain things only explain not all the things as per the new electronic theory the new uh, electrons are revolving around the nucleus if they are going on revolving around the nucleus they have to lose their energy so when they lose they lose the energy they have to move from one orbit to other orbit and they have to collapse this is not happened as per the rutherford statement what is said the electrons revolving around the nucleus sure they are revolving around the nucleus only they are going on rounding up even take as rest we are going on rounding up means at what point we have to lose our energy we have to fall down like that the electrons have to bombard each other but this is not happen like that 
So, Rutherford Autumn model has not given the solution for this concept. That is, if electron losing the energy, what happened to them? They have to collide each other, they have to destroy, this and all not explained clearly by Rutherford. So, other scientists came forward, he is bored. He has given, he has given some kind of suggestions for the drawback what is in the Rutherford Autumn model. What is the drawback, drawback of Rutherford, Rutherford Autumn model? That is, if the electrons revolved continuously, they have to lose the energy. In that case, they have to collide each other, they have to collapse. This has not happened. This should be explained. No, so who came to who came forward to explain the theory? Bohr. Next one, Bohr. He has given a BHOR, I think so. BOH Bohr. Hmm? Bohr has, has come forward to say the reason, suggestion for the Rutherford defect. Okay. He said and the electrons are revolving around the thing, uh, every, every electron that is the shells that is KLMN, first orbit, second orbit, third orbit and he has named the orbit as KLMN like that. And finally, what is said, the electrons are revolving, revolving around the nucleus, they lose the energy, but the energy goes from the lower level to higher level. That is first orbit, from the first orbit the energy goes to the second orbit like that. That the energy is complemented, substituted to every orbit, it will not lose in any way. This is said by who? Bohr, Niels Bohr. He said the electrons are revolving around, but they are not losing the energy. The energy moves from the lower level to higher level. This is said by Bohr autumn model. And also he said because the energy is stored in that in the orbits, he said the energy is known as energy shells or energy level. Okay. Yeah. Um, though he present like that, there also some rectification because the Bose model only hydrogen is applicable for that. Hydrogen is the simplest atom, atomic number of hydrogen is only one. So, this can be, Bose model can be followed only for the hydrogen atom, not for the nitrogen ion. Ion is what? More than two atoms together. Ion is more than two atoms, that is charged particle. What is ion? That is charged particle, either it may be positive ion or negative ion. Okay, yeah. So, do that for model, that is, sorry, Bohr's model can rectify the defects of only atoms, not the ions. Ions are charged particle. So, every atom may be either negative ion or positive ion. Negative ion means uh, anion, positive ion, cation. Okay, yeah. So, that is not followed. That is even Bohr's model also not accepted. Okay. Then finally, Summerfield, he came, he gave the John Dalton, so he gave the autumn structure. That is why we said John Dalton's atomic theory. He gave the clear structure of atom what we are present using. Now I said what is atomic number, what is mass number? Atomic number I said already, number of protons and num number of protons are electrons. Then mass number is proton plus neutron. In short, the weight of the nucleus is the mass number of the atom. Then we have to write symbols. What is symbol? That is the short form of the, this also we studied in 8th standard itself. Symbol, symbol we have to say now. Huh? For example, oxygen, hydrogen we will say. What is the name of the element? Hydrogen. The symbol is the short form of informing, informing the elements, uh, structures, atoms. For example, the what is the first number, uh, first letter H. Suppose in some cases, uh, they may be followed. For example, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Hmm. Nitrogen, as, as per the statement, we have to take the first letter, nitrogen N. The same begins neon. This is an element, this is a gas, uh, the beginning letter is N. Suppose N is given means, we have to get in the confusion whether it is nitrogen or neon. So what we have to write, suppose in case the first letter is same, we have to go for the second letter, NG. 
okay yeah. in that case two letters same letter means we have to see, go for the second letter first letter should be in capital second letter should be in small letter okay niya yeah. in some cases entirely for example sodium is it clear are you able to see okay then sodium sodium the first letter is s if the symbol is s we got doubt sulfur also what s only so we are in confusion whether it is sodium or sulfur so just to avoid that we are writing sodium latin name of sodium is natrium so what is the latin name i said natrium so we should not write ng so sorry uh, already we are writing nitrogen and all by n so we are taking like this first letter and second letter sodium okay sodium chloride you know common salt we are using every day in our food that is sodium chloride what's the sodium chloride it's common salt we are using in our daily food without chlo sodium chloride no food can be consumed by the human beings clear so this is the symbol symbol is the short form of the uh, naming the elements elements are on the short time form under the symbols okay along with the symbols we are writing the number that is valency what is valency means the number of electron present in the last orbit is known as what valency those electrons are valence electron some examples are given for us we have to find out uh, how many electrons in each orbit Ox carbon oxygen if you are going for mandelic periodic table we know carbon atomic number is carbon atomic number is 6 then nitrogen atomic number is 7 this is given in your book page number 190 128 then oxygen atomic number is 8 so on seeing the atomic number we can say proton and electron by finding out the mass number only we can say proton electron as well as neutron okay next we have to go for electronic configuration is it clear children so far we we know what is proton proton is what positively charged neutron no charge electron negatively charged okay yeah. in the nucleus what are the thing present nuclear center proton and neutron are present because what you are learning should be till last even till you complete the higher education the same only so just keep in mind proton in center proton and nucleus neutron in center uh, neutron no charge at all nucleus is positively charged because of proton around the uh, orbit there is electron electrons are other uh, orbits orbits are other is known as energy level electrons all revolving around it so how to arrange the number of electron there's a formula that is 2n squared by using the formula then symbol i said that is the element name represent by in the short way that is symbol If the first letter is same we have to go for the second letter second letter also many elements like that we have to go for latin name like that okay and you know how to find out atomic number mass number i said atomic number either number of protons or electron mass number proton plus neutron we can find out like that now we have to go for electronic configuration that is electrons are arranged like this i said no this is known as what electronic configuration so let let me continue in another class